In our research, we reconstructed the magnetic field of the Earth, which was, was recorded in 21 destruction layers in 17 archaeological sites throughout Israel. And we used these changes as a dating tool. This way we could check biblical narratives regarding the Egyptian, Aramean, Assyrian and Babylonian military campaigns to Israel and check whether the biblical narratives are true or not according to the magnetic field recorded in every one of these destruction layers. So the magnetic field of the earth comes from the movement of iron which is well uh, down in the interior part of the earth and when this iron moves around it creates uh, the magnetic field of the earth. We don't see it but for example when you hold a compass it points to the north because of that magnetic field. In the same way within many archaeological materials like this mud brick I'm holding or in any pottery vessel we have ferromagnetic minerals which have also a very small magnetic signal. You can imagine a, a tiny compass and when they're burned to high temperatures they, all these uh, tiny compasses point to the, magne to the magnetic north of the time. When they cool down they record this magnetic signal and we can come thousands of years later and reconstruct the direction and the intensity of the magnetic field which was at the time of the fire.